There's a lot of buzz this year around Central Valley bees. Hives are swarming much sooner than expected, and experts say a mild winter is to blame. So let's find out why. CBS 13's Brady Howb Live takes a closer look into this year's swarming season and what you can do if a hive ends up in your backyard. Two of them over there. Chrissy Langlois is the owner of Wildflower Ranch and an expert beekeeper. Not only does she manage several hives in her backyard, but she helps her neighbors in the Rio Vista area relocate swarming hives. Bees are like teenage girls, they're very fickle, and you never know what they're going to do. A swarm is when a queen bee leaves her current hive in search for a new home. However, they can sometimes end up in trees, chimneys, or inside of walls of homes. Here we are the first week of January, and it's already started. Swarms generally happen in the spring, but this year it's happening much sooner. The mild temps this fall and winter with a combination of less rain means more of an opportunity for plants to grow and for bees to forage for pollen. Pollen and nectar out, they're going to go out and find it and bring it in. To conserve food during the winter months, drone bees or male bees are usually kicked out and left for dead. Their service is for eating and mating, but Chrissy says some of the drones are sticking around, meaning that there's an abundance of food and the queen has more of an opportunity to mate and lay more eggs. But that's when things get crammed. Our room and they're high for them to, for the queen to lay, or there's no more room for them to create and store honey or pollen, then they'll leave and possibly making their way to your backyard. It's not something that we're accustomed to this time of year. If that happens, don't panic, but you'll want to act fast. But while that queen is resting in that swarm, you've got scout bees out looking for a home. And that home could be your wall, it could be your chimney, it could be your eaves. Pretty fascinating, huh, the process? So if you do get swarmed, experts say to stay away from it and do not spray it with water. They suggest to call a beekeeper right away. We'll have some helpful links on our website as well, cbs13.com.